Along New York's southern tier, to the south of the Finger Lakes region, this broad upland area is, for the most part, a massive pile of rock and soil pushed along by the ice sheet and left behind when it retreated. This formation, called a terminal moraine, is the southern boundary of the final advance of the Laurentide. The Finger Lakes were once river valleys that were later scoured out by the ice. Junctions of tributaries with those ancient rivers were at first blocked by ice, then sheared away by glaciers that repeatedly advanced and retreated like gigantic ripsaws, pulverizing valley walls, leaving streams suspended in thin air. These hanging streams were ancestors of the many spectacular Finger Lakes waterfalls that populate the region today. These lakeside formations, called truncated spurs, give this shoreline a finely sculpted appearance on both shores. Geologists say the Laurentide ice sheet may have merely buffed up this deep valley that now holds Canandaigua Lake. An earlier ice age may have done the heavy lifting, grinding out a valley whose water courses traveled south before the Laurentide blocked them to form the Finger Lakes. South of Canandaigua Lake, another valley, home to the ancient West River, now a creek-like stream that once ran with colossal volume and force along this trough into the long-gone Dansville River, whose outflow created Irondequoit Bay near Rochester. Today, the valley walls of this vineyard-laden bottomland remain, monuments to the raging torrent that poured westward as glaciers melted. 